a little bit closer to the pies. Effective first kick of the night for McMahon. Burns though. How about this for a quick reply? Burns on the run from 50. Doesn't get a whole lot quicker than that by way of a response. For all of the Bulldogs' hard work to gouge out a goal, Collingwood in the blink of an eye out of the centre, Burns on the run. Thank you. Tony Burns has been one of those players for Colin that's really got off the leash and got under the guard of some sides. That's his 11th goal for the season. He's been invaluable over the last three or four weeks. And as I was saying, the Bulldogs needed to win the ball out of the centre square. And they just got an absolute lesson by Collingwood there. You can't afford to give the opposition clean possession out of the centre square. Terrific answering goal as Rocker jumps high, gets it back in, Scotty Burns again. Not content with a quick goal. That's good work from Kinnear. He got it quickly from Rocker. Buckley to get two and 30 seconds. And he has done it beautifully. Wonderful work from the centre square from about four or five players there. Just good work in close. And Nathan Buckley, like hitting a drive square off the tee. As soon as he hit it, he turned around and knew it was a goal. It's like picking up his tee. <laughs> Quality players finish as well as what Nathan Buckley does, as did Scotty Burns a moment or so ago. You can't afford to allow players like that running forward unchecked into their forward 50. It really is just champagne football when it's like that. It's an above par performance for Nathan Buckley this evening. 18 possessions and his opening goal. And two in a minute for the Magpies, just as the Bulldogs were threatening.